episode, we are going to leave Derby and we are going to head across to the Cape Levick Road where we're going to head up to, we're going to go out to James Price Point and Kwandong Point and we're going to go up here, we're going to go out to Lombardina and we're going to go all the way up to Cape Levick and check out Kuljaman and maybe do a tour of the reef. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. So we've headed north out of Broome, up the Dampier Peninsula. And our first stop is Kwandong Point, which you go out not far up the Cape Levick Road. You turn left. Wait, hang on. Let's go back. Let's show you what the roads are like first. So the roads were sandy and horribly corrugated most of the way in here. And then when you get to the end of the track on coming into Kwandong, it turns the rutted, sort of, all sandy, but yeah, not good. So, okay, take two. This is our campsite up at Kondong Point. It's beautiful sunrises and sunsets here. There's not much beach for swimming. Lots of rocks around. But there's good views. So we're staying out at Kwandong Point yep. and we've just come for a drive up to James Price Point mm -hmm. to have a look. There's plenty of room up here, but um, it's very windy, so you won't hear anything in a minute and we'll yeah. show you around. <laughs> of James Price Point. There's the red cliffs, blue ocean, white sand. Yeah, and in fact, this is probably a little bit wider than it was back there, but... 
So Brad's on C6. And then there's C7 in the middle and we're down on C8. We were meant to be on 7 and 6. But all changed. Yes. Yeah, and there's a couple more down in front of us over there. We're sort of off to the other side there. Hang out in the bath, boys. All good. Brothers in the hood, hey? Yeah, piss off and leave us alone. Must be our turn next race. <laughs> Brothers that bath together. I don't know what the saying is, but Travel it sounded good. Travel together. Yeah. Uh, good one, Dale. Look at the colour of our feet. Maybe they need a hut of wash. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thanks for coming all the way to Pender Bay <laughs> to celebrate my birthday. Don't make your birthday damper. Yeah, my birthday damper is amazing, babe. Oh yeah, the candle melted. <laughs> Think it melted in the bread. Cut it out there. Do I get to make a wish? Yeah, you yeah. can try. Oh, I'm going to cut in the middle then. What if it comes out dirty? No oh, way. Stay close to the <laughs> Oh, and oh, have a look, look at that. that. Hooked to ooh, perfection. Ooh, not bad, <laughs> well is it? done, babe. Alright, who's up the damper? Oh, yes, please. So, we're just walking up to the reception front shop. That's Silver Shed there behind the. Um, What's that thing called? Satellite is where the showers and toilet are. You can actually see the shower in this end of it. And Dawn and Michael are staying at Middle Lagoon just around the corner. They've just called around for Tracy's birthday. But because they got the dog, can't get in, so we're just walking up to see him. I'm a very lucky girl. So while we're up this top end of the park, I'll show you the only other shower and toilet that's here. It's pretty cool. Happy birthday, Tracy. Thank you. 21 again. Where are we going? We're going. We're going to Love Heart Rock. Love Heart Rock. Yeah. In the bay. In Pender Bay. Pender bay yes. To get some photos. Photos at every angle of a rock. It's a love heart. <laughs> I can it's see beautiful. that it's a love heart. Looks like it's been cut that way, doesn't it? Surely not. Surely it's just a natural phenomenon. Yeah, guys, it will be. Are you alright? It's like it's a celebrity rock though, Brad, not a celebrity pool. <laughs> <laughs> Pork, Trace. It's your pork birthday lunch. Does it look alright? Well, I don't know. Test. Can't see the crackle yet. Oh, well, I've just got to cut the ropes. Pretty good. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. A 
bad way to spend your birthday, Trace. I know. I feel so lucky. Good morning, still. Yes. Good morning. So we left Pender Bay this morning, and we've come out to Lombardina. And we got lucky. And we got lucky. We um we managed to get in here. They've only got oh, half a dozen or eight sites. sites or something here, but beautiful green grass. Um, the yeah, of the it looks community. really nice actually. Yeah. We have been here before. We come in here and got some bread nine years ago, and it was beautiful. So I wanted to come in here anyway. We managed to get bread as well today, so we're win, win, win. Yeah. Today. So we're booked in for a reef yeah, waterfall tour up at Signet Bay Pearl Farm. Um, so we're just going to head up there which now. Which is and up towards One Arm Point. So we're heading up there now, spend the day up there. Might have dinner. Yeah, hopefully we'll have dinner or something maybe up there. And yeah. Back here, so we're booked in here for a few nights. I'll have a bit of a look around here and probably head up to Kuljaman tomorrow. Have a look around up there as well. Yeah, yeah, so you can drive out on the beach here, so we'll go out and have a bit of a look and see, see what it's like. Just coming into Signa Bay Pearl Farm. And so we bought an amphibious boat that takes us away from the Signa Bay Pearl Farm and out to a bigger rubber boat, which will in turn take us out to the waterfall reef. So here's where we change over into the larger boat. And we go out past some of their pots that have got the oysters on them and he tells us a little bit about them. So guys, you might be able to notice just a couple of metres below the surface here. There's a couple of dark shapes in the water. So that's our panels. Each one of those panels can have anywhere from six to 32 oysters in them. It just depends how large those oysters are as to how many we can fit in each panel. I'm tired of going the exact opposite direction. I think you'd end up somewhere down in Derby. So right here is One Arm Point. This is kind of the uh, northwest corner of King Sound. And King Sound is that big V-shaped body of water on the eastern side of the Dampier Peninsula. So we're in the top northwest corner and Derby's right down in the bottom of that V. Amazing how much ground you can cover with these tides and how quickly. That water starts to pick up pace. A few little, uh, little whirlpools start to form. It almost looks like it's boiling oh, in some cool. spots. Huh? Is there a little one down there? It's pretty, it's pretty deep. It's just the uh, that water moving so quick um, that yeah, the volume pushing through quite narrow passages. That's the old hatchery there, is it? Yeah, that's the uh, one arm point hatchery. So they're still operating at the moment. Uh, it's a little tourism operation owned and run by the local community. But uh, due to COVID, you can't drive in there, but there are tour buses that will come up or bypass the community itself and take you directly to the hatchery. We'll have a look at the dark colour on these rocks, guys. That's where the water was just a couple of hours ago. That's how fast it's dropping. Wow. Oh, 
Here we are coming up to the reef with the waterfall over it. Now it's about a 300 mil drop at the moment. By the time we leave it's up to nearly a metre drop. Rather impressive sunset as we cruise back towards the Pearl Farm. Next morning we head north again from Lombardina. Cool demand, Cape Levique. Go in here for lunch and, and have, have a look and see what we can find. This is Kuljiman up at Cape Levite. Hasn't changed much since we were here, but what was it? 20 bucks to go for a walk through the place. Yeah, per person. I don't know, maybe walking tracks. That's what I was doing. And no caravans, I except for that one over there. Except for that one, yeah. He's allowed. Must be the host, sure. You'd hope so. You're looking for your past photo, Trace? Because I'm pretty sure that that was the hut that we were in. Mm. Mindo. It's that little one. Mm. Now we had the big double one. Yeah. Ah, oh, so we were right. <laughs> there you go. There is the lighthouse up here at Cape Levec. How cool are these tents? A little toilet on the back of them. We're just going out to the beach at Lombardina. So um, you've got to get your tires down and you've got to give it a bit to get over the sand dune. The beach out here at Lombardina is a beautiful white beach and turquoise blue water. There's also plenty of shells along there, although you're not allowed to take the shells, but there's some beautiful shells there. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a short video of how the locals get their boats in and out of the water. The old 80 series is doing all right. A wander around Lombardina, have permission from the community office. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I so said just wander around where you want and have a bit of a look around. So that's where we camped over there. And these are just maintenance sheds and stuff. There you go. What is it? Dollar 83. 86. 86. Yeah. yeah, over there somewhere is the bakery, I remember now. That's cheaper than the other one here, it's $1.88. There you go. Something. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Yeah, yeah. If the craft shop's not open. You have to go and see someone though. Yeah, I can't remember who it was now though. Yeah, how cool is that? It's the little things. What did it say? Welcome. Yeah. Thanks to Daryl from the Lombardina community. He opened up the arts and crafts shop and showed us around. Now he's trying to get all his artwork ready for a big show he's got coming up at the Fremantle Art Centre. So really appreciate his time. It's good to be able to walk around one of these It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's such a nice feel here, I reckon. The yeah. Back this corner, the other side. Yeah, it must inside, be inside, yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. yeah. we got to teach them to cover the top of their loaves with alfoil. foil. <laughs> yeah. the yeah. process. Yeah. yeah, that hasn't changed in 90 years, has it? No, it, it hasn't. <laughs> That's a special thing of it all. Yes, that's right. The Lombardini's special crusted top load. They do rolls. Yeah. Weighing machine. They do rolls too. Yeah, because Daryl had rolls for lunch. Take a lot of pride in keeping their grass green and stuff. They do, don't they? But mm -hmm. even their houses are clean. Yeah. Like their front yards are clean. Quite often in communities like this, there's rubbish and yeah. cars that are 
broken. And... <laughs> yeah, the Lombardina Mission Church, yeah. Notice the shells? Yeah. In the book park. And they show you rocks. Oh, rocks, rocks, aren't they? Yeah. So the church was built in 1934 by local Aboriginal people. It's got a paper bark roof. Yeah. Stood the test of time. Used by different Aboriginal communities around the area. Yeah, just to keep the water out of the paper bark. Yeah. at how clean this community is. Mm. Like there is no rubbish in the front yard, there's no cars, bits and yep. trash, and it is so clean. I'm amazed. Like they're so proud of their community. Yeah, and they're just so happy for you just to wander around, and have a look at everything. It's great. They certainly have nothing to hide, mm. do no. they? No, they're so, and so welcoming. Yeah, definitely come back here, that's oh. for sure. Yeah. Well, remember that from nine years ago though, it was fantastic. So. Yeah, it's just, and yeah. the green, the little things, but the green grass with the contrasting red dirt and yeah, it just it's such a great spot to stay. Yeah. I feel very privileged actually. Mm. What is there? There's only one, two, three, four, five, seven of us staying here. Yes. So we're out on Lombardina Beach. Again for a swim. It's just past high tide and hot. It's hotter, isn't it, today? I reckon. Beautiful swim, though. Where have you been? See man about dog. Dogs are wrong. Is our last sunset, last night at Lombardina? It is. It's been great, I love it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick flyby. So that's our time at Lombardina come to an end. And the next morning we head down the Cape Levique Road towards Bard Creek. And what you're looking at here is the entrance to Bard Creek. That's where it comes in and we're actually camped halfway up the creek you uh, can see in the distance you can see the road that comes straight towards us there you get to the T intersection at the end and turn left and we're just camped up there on the bank it's a nice spot So whilst I said it was a nice spot, it is a very nice spot, but we got absolutely smashed by midges. They were everywhere. Anyway, here's a shot at high tide, and then the next shot is low tide. That just shows you how much water goes in and out of there. Like, it was probably five metres. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Next episode, we hang around Broome and we shoot over to the horizontal waterfalls. So if you like it, like it, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks.